The gallery coupons are probably the most important currency in Pixel Gun 3D in my opinion. And the reason being is because it of course allows you guys to buy yourself a ton of weapons which would allow your progress to go further and further day by day. And therefore in today's video guys I have prepared for you a full on detailed guide on how to get the biggest amount that you can possibly accumulate of the gallery coupons so you guys will be able to get yourself more weapons. And I've prepared for you guys a lot of tips so make sure to stick right until the end and let's just jump right into it. So right before we start, I also have a few information which you guys should also keep in mind is that you guys, after you reach yourself a specific amount of weapons that you have in the game, you guys will be able to receive 200 coupons per 5 weapons and it won't go any higher than that. But 200 coupons for 5 weapons is already a great number. And the second thing you have to of course keep in mind is that rare weapons give you 3 gems, epic weapons give you 5 gems, legendary weapons give you 10 and mythical 15. It's just an extra and bonus way to earn yourself gems along the side. So coming up with the method number one, and this is actually a very simple method that many players might know. First up, it's going to be buying yourself the cheapest weapons that we currently have available in the game. And the reason why this is so particularly important is because you guys would need a bigger number of weapons right off the start as you start playing the game, which will allow you guys to slowly make your way up into gaining more coupons per five weapons that you obtain for yourself. And this is why it's such an important technique that you guys must follow and as I said it's also an extra way to get yourself guys some gems and co ending coins in the game has actually been much easier as of lately because the developers are trying to make the free to play experience much better for every single player and we can already see that I can see that you guys can see that and everyone can really see that the developers are really doing a great job so I've already got myself a lot of weapons and once again I am claiming the 50 points per 5 weapons so the next technique which I have prepared for you guys is also going to be the gallery sets which we have for ourselves. So as you guys can see, every single set is a correlation of weapons together created into one. That's basically the way I can I can explain it for you guys. And as we see, we need to obtain ourselves all of the books from this game in order to get ourselves 485 coupons. I would suggest you guys that you do this kind of uh, challenges and these kind of weapons, try to obtain them for yourself a bit more by taking your time into getting the weapons that of course makes sense because as you see there's a lot of question marks here meaning that some of the weapons are just not obtainable in the game at this current moment so just make sure to, to be patient with the sets and over time they should come to you guys. So jumping into method number 3, it's of course going to be the traders vans. And I cannot ever stress out the importance of traders vans in this game. As you guys can see, currently we have about 5 weapons that have returned to the game. And as you guys can see, all of these weapons that we have right here are quite expensive, yet they are the same theme. And you might be wondering why the importance of this is so key. Well. As I previously said in step number two is that this allows you guys to get yourself a lot of sets. Of course, it's a very important feature because the more weapons that you get from the same theme, the bigger chance you will actually have to obtain yourself a lot of coupons from a set. And of course, sets are a great way to earn currency and the traders vans is what really makes this so much easier. So jumping into the next technique, we have ourselves the event section. And the reason why this is so particularly important is because it gives you a free weapon set. However, the latest sets that Pixel Gun 3D has been releasing in the game actually happen to have a bigger rewards in terms of coupons. If, if we of course scroll down, if I am going to be able to scroll all the way down, as we see for each set, we get ourselves around 200 or even 300 coupons, but just two to three weapons. It's really great sets to have and it's very much helpful for the newer players as well. Of course it can be difficult to get these weapons but if you do of course get them then it's going to be incredibly beneficial for you guys in terms of coupons and it's also going to be an easier way to get yourself some bonus gems back after spending them on the event. So moving into method number 5 is going to be the lottery. So lottery is kind of the same thing as the events which I previously have mentioned to you guys but the importance of this is once again even bigger than the events itself. And let me summarize the reason why. 
First up, you guys would actually get yourself, again, set weapons. But along with this, the novice chests and the epic chests, which are the fighter chests, actually have a lot of weapons inside of them. They are all just epic slash rare weapons, which of course, the gift stitcher, for example, would give you guys about 5 gems each if you guys get yourself this weapon. But along with that, all of these weapons that we have in here actually find their way in a set. And if you truly get yourself all of these weapons from the lotteries, it will really collect you guys at least three to four sets altogether. Which, of course, these weapons are part of different sets, but some of the other weapons you might also have along the way. So that's why the lottery is actually so important. And even this, these weapons are legendaries. Again, 10 gems extra. I know this is a coupons video, but I cannot stress out the importance of how big of amounts of gems you guys could also receive yourself from the lotteries by also the weapons itself. Next up, I present to you guys are the clans. The clans have been heavily underrated in terms of getting gems and coupons as of lately, and the reason being is because not as many people actually play them. However, there are actually a lot of weapons and a lot of chests available in here, which of course we have the clan war chest, uh, for, which is for the steel division, gold division, and the crystal division, and of course the wooden division. Each of these divisions actually have weapons of their own, which also have sets. And these sets that we also have actually can get you guys about 2.5k to 3,000 coupons by just collecting all of these sets. So it's really worth actually grinding these cards because they could allow you guys to get up to three mythical weapons, which of course each mythical weapon costs 1,000 gallery coupons each. But along with this, we also have the black market and the black market is also a great way. I unfortunately do not have it, but I'll show you guys a screenshot on the screen right now of how the black market would look like for you guys. You guys sometimes would get offers for sp specific weapons, which you could obtain for yourself, which are not available in any other place that and black market and again because it would be able to give you guys a lot of weapons which you wouldn't normally be able to get in the game by just grinding Moving to the next strategy, we have the offers, and the offers are actually incredibly underrated in this game. So as we see right here, for about $60, both of these sets from devs, which we have right here, are actually not that expensive because all of these weapons that we have here are most of them going to be mythical. But along with this, we also get ourselves a bonus epic weapon. So it's five mythicals and one epic. And this is definitely a good amount because this could get yourself even up to 200 coupons if you guys have more weapons in the game. But along with this, again, it helps you guys out with sets and there's actually a lot of chests that you guys have in here available. So first up, we start with the sets. Of course, you could even gift sets to friends. But along with this, you could even give with your friends chests and all of these chests possess a lot of weapons and you can even get yourself the harsh punisher which is probably one of the best snipers in the game which is just some bonus information from me so if you guys do have the money then feel free to of course get yourself these chests there's also the from heart chest the novice chest which you give to your friends for free so moving to the most unnoticed technique of today's video it's going to be the lucky board which allows you guys to get yourself one weapon every i believe event which every event takes place after around 35 days, I believe. And it's really just one weapon which you guys could obtain yourself from here. But just for watching ads, it's still a great bonus and I would definitely suggest to watch these ads because at the end, it will, it will give you guys a set weapon and along with this, it would also give you 15 gems. So it's always a plus. So method number nine would be the special events, which in this case, we have ourselves the Rebel Supply, which is giving us rewards every single day by just literally, literally playing the game. That's all it takes, guys. And at the end of September 10, you guys will get yourself a weapon. And you might be wondering why this like, technique is so important. I would say it's very important because this weapon, again, is going to be a part of the set because as time goes on, every weapon takes place and gets put in into a set of its own and if it doesn't then that's just a bit weird but most of the time this is going to be the case for you guys so always remember to take advantage of these sets and just really play the game l a little bit every single day just literally 30 minutes it takes you guys to get yourself 10 emblems and then all you have is a lot of bonus rewards and maybe there's some coupons in there as well 
So moving into technique number 10, which is the last technique of today's video, it's going to be the pixel pass. And again, the pixel pass, first of all, it offers you guys a range of bonus weapons, which are of course set weapons, which again would give you guys a lot of coupons. Along with this, it gives you guys fighters chests, novice chests, and even up to the winner chests. And these chests could again give you guys set weapons and again would also be able to accumulate altogether to give you guys extra coupons. As I said, every single five weapons you guys obtain, you would receive yourself a lot of coupons. But this is not where it ends. Where it actually ends is that you guys would be able to get yourself the super chests, which are somewhat beneficial but some of them ain't I would mostly suggest you guys to purchase yourself this super chest because it is a guaranteed weapon most of the time unless you guys get unlucky and get yourself modules however it is particularly expensive but it's always worth a try if you guys have a lot of pixel pass tickets so that is all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope that this tutorial did help you guys and I hope that I would be able to do more guides just like this one for you guys. And let me know down in the comment section down below which currency I should go through next. And I'll probably post this kind of video in the next two weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and thank you so much to all my channel members. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Have a great rest of the day. And of course, make sure to leave the notification on, as I said, and see you guys later. Bye bye.